daughter would have turned 18 in two weeks, but a deadly crash cut her life short. And tonight, a mother wants to prevent another family from experiencing the same heartbreak. She's raising awareness and asking the General Assembly for a change in state law. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us with that mother's message to lawmakers. Katie. Erica, Jill Biddle's daughter had been preparing to enter her senior year of high school, but her life changed in a matter of two seconds. That's how long she took her eyes off the road to look down and start sending a text message while sitting behind the wheel. On June 20th, 2016, Jill Biddle's life changed forever. She was going to see a friend um, and we had a 4-H meeting that night, you know, chores that had to be done. So I said, okay, go, you know, be back about an hour and a half. Her daughter Maria was driving home around 5 p.m. She started to text her mom that she'd be late. She looked up and there was a car that was stopped to turn left. Biddle says her daughter swerved into oncoming traffic and hit a pickup truck head on. The 17 year old died at the scene. I remember just falling down. There's no way. No way her daughter would miss senior pictures. No way she would never make it to college to study nursing. She's my only daughter and we looked a lot alike. We, yeah, you know, personalities clashed because we were a lot alike. Um, but she, everybody remembered her smile. Biddle felt compelled to turn her grief into action. I just kept getting that vibe that mama we need to do something. She kept her daughter's car. The twisted metal and broken glass a reminder of an important message. Two to five seconds is all it took. That quick, you know, four words that she had typed, looked up and she was gone. She's taking the crumpled car to high schools and today to the state house. She's joining state lawmakers who are calling for stricter driving rules for her a way to heal and honor her daughter. I just wish I could tell her one more time how much I loved her. And texting while driving is already illegal here in the state of Indiana, but one state lawmaker has trying, been trying to push for legislation that would require everyone to go hands-free while behind the wheel. So no talking on the cell phone, no putting your phone up for navigation. That bill failed already this session. He's vowing, though, to bring it up again next year. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.